Operation Drawbridge is a mission of the Texas Department of Public Safety in cooperation with other law enforcement agencies and it provides undeniable proof, photographic proof and results and apprehensions that private landowners are dealing with the dangers of deadly drug cartels and the impact of illegal human trafficking. That's now former Texas Agriculture Commissioner Todd Staples talking back in 2012 about what was then a new operation, Operation Drawbridge, designed to crack down on drug cartel uh, drug cartels and, quite frankly, illegal immigration. Since that program started back then, Operation Drawbridge has uh, detected over 100,000 criminal activities along the Texas border with Mexico, causing the arrest of more than 56,000 individuals and the seizing of more than 112 tons of narcotics. For more on the story, we call on our friend Michael Cutler, retired INS senior special agent. So, Michael, Operation Drawbridge has been characterized as Texas saying to the feds, you tried the virtual fence, that didn't work, we're going to spend our own money, put our own technology to work, and we'll get some results. How effective, in your opinion, has Operation Drawbridge been? Well, the numbers look good, you know, and I, I in the past said that um, the virtual fence would do what it was supposed to do, stop virtually nobody. It was about <laughs> creating the illusion because this administration doesn't want to enforce the law. It's pretty clear. But here's what I'm concerned about. Two things. Number one, if Texas cracks down, they're simply going to move their, the activity to the other states along the U.S.-Mexican border. That's problem one. Problem two, what is the Border Patrol doing with the aliens who are being brought to them? Uh, you know, all too often this administration has this policy of cutting aliens loose who are here illegally, even aliens with criminal histories. I commend the state of Texas because they're desperate. They want the federal government to live up to its obligation. My question is, what then happens to these aliens when the Border Patrol gets hold of them? Are they doing what they've done in the past, drive them to a bus station? So, you know, again, we have to come back to the federal government's failures. I commend Texas, but I still think the focus needs to be on this administration and on the federal responsibility. Wouldn't you agree, J.D.? Well, as we take a look at it, the irony is we've seen so many stories saying, look at the pictures of the people coming across the border, look at the right. drugs moving, and pictures are one thing. Pictures may be worth a thousand words, but there is more to the story, and you raise a valid point. Uh, but as a first step, and I know Boeing got that big deal for the, quote, virtual fence, is, is there something to be said for expanding what Texas has done with Operation Drawbridge across our entire southern border? Oh, I, I couldn't agree more. And it's amazing how cost effective it's been. But look what the administration has done. The GAO says the drones have made no arrests. They cost a ton of money. Instead of getting manned helicopters, which is what the GAO recommended, they still want to use high tech, uh, maybe to take care of their buddies, you know, with the, those contracts. But again, I think it's a good way to do business, but only if the Border Patrol then takes custody of these individuals who are here illegally and moves them out of the country. And i got to make the one quick point. Look at the nexus between the drugs and the aliens. Remember what we've talked about. The best metric for border security is the price and availability of heroin and cocaine. We're in the midst of the worst heroin epidemic in decades, if not in history right now. Michael, about a minute left with you. Another issue sure. since you're Skyping in from New York. Uh, the big press conference held yesterday by New York's junior senator, Kirsten Gillibrand, pushing for national online voter registration. Motor voter has been bad enough. Will this yeah. be another backdoor for illegals to sign up to vote and commit voter uh, fraud? I, I'm very concerned about that. Look, immigration is, is an issue that they just don't want to deal with. And look at the terrorists they just arrested in Ohio. They wouldn't charge him with lying on his application for citizenship, but they got him for lying to a federal, an FBI agent and for aiding and abetting terrorists. This guy wants to carry out attacks in the U.S. He should have been prosecuted for um, committing fraud on his naturalization application, which he did purely to get the passport to travel uh, to Syria. Why do we keep leaving immigration out of this equation, especially where national security is concerned? National security, uh, border security, and now internet security figuring in. Michael Cutler, yep. we thank you for your time.